Hey everyone, my name is Paul and today I'll be changing the drive belt and the variator rollers in my scooter. This is the Honda Elite 110. It was only sold in the United States in 2010, but the rest of the world knows it as the Lead 110. This scooter has a top speed of 50 miles per hour and gets 105 miles per gallon. It has a reliable, fuel-injected and water-cooled engine and a low seat height that is comfortable for shorter riders. It also has the biggest seat compartment I've ever seen on a scooter. Mine has 5,000 miles and it's ready for some maintenance. The front of the transmission cover has a rubber vent hose. I'll take that hose clamp off, then remove the 8 bolts holding the cover. They take an 8mm socket. Honda says to check the belt every 5,000 miles and replace it every 15,000 miles. My belt looks good. This video wouldn't be very interesting if all I did was look at the belt. I'm using the OEM parts finder on RevZilla.com to get a new belt. Just use the diagram to find your parts. The variator rollers also wear out, so I'll buy them too. While we're here, I'll show you what the continuously variable transmission does. As the engine turns faster, the belt rides higher on the front pulley and lower on the back pulley, making it a faster gear ratio. Don't do this at home. Why, you ask? Because the starter Bendix will fall off and can get jammed on the variator pulley. The starter Bendix is behind this cover and moves out so it can crank the engine. Sometimes my scooter doesn't start and just makes this noise instead. That means the starter Bendix is sticking. The gear isn't moving out every time because it's full of dirt and old grease. I'm using TriFlow and compressed air to clean it out. I need a flywheel holder tool, but I couldn't find a Honda tool for my scooter. I have this Nariku tool for a 50cc Chinese scooter, but it doesn't fit. Yet. First, the tool needs to be flat. You can do this with a hammer if you don't have a vise. Next, I'm marking where the holes should be. I'm drilling the holes too big because I'm sure I didn't mark them exactly right. Now I can use that Naruku tool to hold the flywheel. I'll just break it loose with a 22mm socket, then remove the nut and washer. This part is the drive face. Use a strap wrench to hold the clutch cover. My strap wrench is too small, but I can make it work by adding vice grips. Break the nut loose with a 19mm socket. The clutch can slide off with the belt. Now is a good time to inspect that clutch. This one looks good. The variator has roller weights inside that push the belt up on the pulley when the engine turns faster. These rollers must be round without any flat spots. Mine look good, but I'll install these new ones because I already bought them and I can't use them to make tea. In case you're wondering, the stock rollers weigh 13 grams each, have an 18 millimeter diameter, and are 14 millimeters wide. Now just slide the variator and rollers back on. That was easy. The belt goes on the scooter with the writing facing you so you can read it. First, wrap the belt around the clutch, then pull it over the spindle in front. Now the drive face goes on. The beveled side of the washer faces out. I'm turning the engine a little bit to prevent the belt from getting pinched between the front pulleys. With the flywheel holder in place, I can torque the nut to 80 foot-pounds. I don't need the tool anymore, so I'll take that off. Next, the clutch cover goes on. Hold it with the strap wrench and tighten the nut to 40 foot-pounds. Let's make sure both pulleys turn and the belt isn't stuck. I'm installing the clutch Bendix. Remember, I cleaned it, but I don't want too much oil on the outside because it can get on the belt. Okay, now it's time to put the cover on. It's a good idea to install all the bolts loosely, then go back and tighten them. Don't forget about that rubber vent hose and clamp. Changing the drive belt is a medium difficulty level. You need some special tools, but it's really not that bad. Thank you for watching, and remember to check out my other Honda Elite Repair videos.